That's why they can't climb, it's different. Alrighty, well boys, uh, we're going to be going over why the X rank 1, still high challenger, Korean 1v9 high elo player is a Viego OTP. I like Viego a lot. I, I tend to play Viego because he's very similar to Kane, and when Kane gets banned, I need another champ to play. Now, we have Kha'Zix, we have Evelyn, we have Hecarim. We have a lot of champs, but Viego is something new, something fun, and also very strong. If someone is able to play a champion and get rank 1 playing that champion, let me tell you something. It is broken. So you guys should be picking up this champ ASAP. I'm going to try and show you how to play him. Now, bear with me. I'm not the best Viego out there, but I'll give you some knowledge on what I do know. Now, first things first. This is a bit of a rule. If your top laner or the enemy top laner is Ignite, you should never make them leash. That's just bad taste. Now, bot lane, we acknowledge it is a weak lane just based off the champion, you know, Kaisa Yumi. They're not necessarily playing to win lane. They're against a double support, so it's more of a... I'll just see how it goes type of situation. But either way, I'm going to path up. We're going to see how that goes. Getting Camille ahead is very good because Camille can uh, separate these two. And taking out the supports is how we're going to win this. So you actually do different things for where you start. So if you start oh, red, you're going to get your E second. If you start game. blue, you your W second. Yo, Tavi, thanks so much for that prime. Tavi85, appreciate you, man. All right, so we're going to start Q. Now, some people like the full clear on Viego. I tend to find him a five camp jungler, kind of similar to Kha'Zix. So you just farm five camps and uh, play the map after that. See how it goes. Ideally, you're going to look for early fights, so want to get your Q, your W, make sure you start resetting those. As you can see, you have that passive after using ability, so you don't want to use them to both in a row, so you want to W, auto, Q, auto. You know, you want to separate them, so actually just kill it with my Q. Now, you want to make sure you're using them as fast as possible, because that way you can get the resets. You don't need to hit the two little wolves immediately, because as long as you keep kiting this out. Alright, so we should be good now. Make sure that does. Okay, so now with Viego, this is something that a lot of people need to make sure that you do. Okay, so you want to auto Q, get behind this. Now you start autoing the little ones. You don't want to E the wall ever because it kind of shows where you're at. If you ever show where you're at, that's just very bad. It's going to be very bad for you. Okay, so make sure we kill all these. I make sure I hit the red with my Q. So Viego clears pretty decently. Obviously, when you get items, you ramp up your clear speed. You're going to be able to clear much faster. So make sure you do not E a wall because like I said, they'll be able to tell that you're there. You always want to main, remain hidden, not seen as a jungler. That's very crucial, very important. So I'm going to save my smite for the scuttle just in case there's a confrontation or anything like that. If set stays, I can probably, oh whoops, if set stays, I probably kill him. Yeah. And look right now, there's no flash. So we're going to go for the dive over the scuttle immediately. Leeson's not up here, he should be... Oh wait. Okay, I might just look to dive. Wait, why do I? Oh. I couldn't see my set W. Okay, well, let me make sure this gets shoved all the way in. <laughs> I couldn't see my set W. That was interesting. I was like, wait, what? I couldn't see the set W. <laughs> oh, that worked out. Nice. Good start for me. <laughs> Viego has a little bit of bugs with his uh, kit because he's a... Uh, you know, a bit of a hard champ to not have bugs because of how many different champs you pick up. That worked out pretty well. Uh, judging by Lee Sin's CS, I believe that he actually did this top schedule, so I'm not going to bother checking that. Okay, so that's pretty good for me. A good start. Good start for me and Camille. The reason why that's such a big play is because Set missed out on the wave and a lot of XP. Uh, sadly, the wave was still pushing in. I couldn't uh, salvage that. But she's in a very good state to where she could just kind of punish and force. So I'm actually going to look to probably go... I can go shield bow into their team. I think, uh, this is probably better. So sometimes you want to go Divine Sunder. I think when they're tank here, you go Divine Sunder, but I think shield bow is the better option here. Playing more for crit. So notice he has 21 CS. Means he went to the bot scuttle, and now he's going to go from his top side. I'm just going to try and defend my top side Raptors because he might look to invade. He's playing very aggressive in my jungle, but he's weaker than me, so I could look to punish that. Okay. 
Okay. Gonna ping out where he is because we obviously know where he is right now. So I can actually look to probably look to force bot, look for a bot side invade because Gleason went to his top side camps. I'm stronger than him. Um, the bot lane's missing, so I have to be careful of the rotation though, so I'm not gonna go too aggressive. Okay. So we can just keep farming. Ah, damn it. I accidentally misangled my E. Whoopsies. Sometimes it's hard not to do. I'm not the best at Viego, so bear with me on that one. Okay, so that should be gone, yeah. Uh, should be up for a little more. We got the plant. Okay, we can kind of approach. I'm gonna wait about three seconds for my E. Maybe look right here. Control with that. Okay, now we're just gonna look. Travel with my E so I can move faster. Very close. Got a flash there, that's pretty huge. Make sure we shove this wave and just look to pressure. Because we want to make sure that they miss out on CS and XP there. That's the main important thing. Alright. And now I get to get out. Cool. Not bad, not bad. Okay, Yoni's probably gonna walk right here. Okay, yeah, I got his flash, that's good. Alright, nice. Perfect. <laughs> Give me, I'm surfing. Oh, perfect. We're gonna look to take the dragon, of course. Challenger, by the way. I told you, I'm playing good today. I told you, Viego is really good as well. Twitch chat never believes me. Yeah, but now we're pretty much just in this point of view where we could just absolutely pop off and win. Keep in mind they have double supports, so their comp does scale kind of well in that regard. But if we just separate the supports, we're fine. We have a Lux as well, so that's really good. I look like Viego in real life. Combo, you do not look like Viego in real life. I'm going to prioritize getting the objective, so I'm probably going to get these two camps, reset, go to my top side, look on the rift. Oh, Scuttle's also up, but you have to keep in mind, Leeson has no bot side camp, so he's ideally going to be looking top side at the moment, so we're going to keep our eyes on that. Are you always at the right spot at the right time? Well, that's what jungling is. It's all about pathing and being at the right place at the right time. The more you practice it, the better you get at it. Focusing on what you need to improve on is very, very important. So Leeson might be going for the rift right now. I want to get a ward. And let's see. Yeah, he is. Pretty much what I expected. I'll look to do something to the set. If I keep going here. Nice. Perfect. Okay, now I gotta invade him. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, my W didn't do damage because I R'd as soon as my W went off. And now I gotta get the blue because I kinda just CS so I could see which camps he had and hadn't done. Pretty good. Yeah, Mitch trading a lot, looking for an aggressive play. Uh, he ulted out though, it's fine. How do you steal abilities? Well, as Viego, the way that you get that is you have to kill them, uh, and then you get to pick up their uh, all their abilities. You also get an HP heal, so it's very important to pick up. I think resets is always nice. Uh, 
So now we're probably going to get uh, tier 2 boots, which is going to be played still caps, because I think I have tenacity in my runes. 70% tenacity, actually, mind you. That's a visual bug, by the way. It's not actually. But um, I have that, so. I'm going to look to do this item now. Go Blade the Rune King. Can go Wits End if they add a lot of AP. Can go Death Stance if they. I need to be tankier, but I think uh, Shield Bow, Blade the Rune King is very good. Very good for damage as well. No oh, Kraken Slayer. Kraken Slayer is kind of outweighed by Divine Sunder. It's only good into tankier comps, and Divine Sunder is better, so. Typically, you never go Kraken Slayer. I, I think you either go Divine or Shield Bow. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just clicked. <laughs> whoops. Alright, we're gonna look mid here. Since we have the control, we're just gonna sweep all the vision that might be there. Keep our eye on mid. He has no ult, nor does he have anything else. Can Lux is my control mid, so it's very important to look with her. Poke that guy with my Q. Scare him a little bit. Alright, so there's no vision. Any deep vision would be greatly appreciated, I'd imagine. So get one deep ward. Now we look bot. They should know I'm behind them, but they're not backing up immediately. Now they can see me because. See, I don't need to pick up that soul because, well, why would I? Oh, Dr. Oh, Blockfist, thanks for the five subs, and also that, thanks so much for the, the bits. Thank you. All right. By the way, if this was Karasmai, we would unironically win this game. Kaboom! Sadgers. Wait, you got a kill though, that's nice. By the way, if this was Karasmai, Oh, uh, one for one and a 1v2 is very, very sweet. By the way, if this was Karasmai, we would unironically win this game. We're gonna look to dive whoever goes mid. By the way, this we have vision to catch up the Yoni if he walks back there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Damn, he got his Q off at the right time. Alright, we can just go red. So you notice I'm just walking to all of his camps, taking his camps so I could deny him XP and gold. Because he can't really contest it, he can't fight me, otherwise I'm just gonna murder him. Now I'm gonna do the dragon. So I make sure that I rotate to the right side of the map during the time period that I can. So you kinda have like time slots to do shit. Time slots to look for gangs, time slots to look for invades. You have to make sure that you're getting objectives on top of everything. It was pretty bad by me to lose the rift, but I traded it for something even better, which is gold and XP and all that. Close. I got a lot of abilities out of them though. Go to the dragon though. Got his flash. Trying to bait Lee Sin to like try and like insect me into the tower, but it didn't work. Okay, so he's going to his Krugs now. Going to Ward, of course. Tries to steal this. Lex might be able to do something. Since uh, she kind of showed that we were there, I might as well just eat the wall. Look, I have a pet Yumi now. I just have a pet Yumi. Yumi, come here, little kitty cat. So, we're kind of far from our Blade the Rune King, but we are still snowballing. That means we can stay on the map longer. That's a really underrated thing about Viego, is he can stay on the map for a ridiculously long time, because he has no mana, so... You don't have to worry about running out of mana ever, you just stay on the map. Snowballing is, like, this guy's bread and butter. Okay, they're gonna look to be aggressive on my AD carry. If she doesn't die, we're pretty good. Make sure she gets a delivery service, Yumi. We're gonna look to dive bot if someone goes bot. Like I said, I want to play off my Lux because she's our control mage, and control mages are good for carrying games. AD carries are too, but I, I trust the Lux more than AD carry. Just the champion itself is very hard to fail on. You're ahead. You just throw out anything and you're good. So this is just hovering to apply pressure, really. Making sure we get the tower, and now I'm gonna walk up to the mid lane and make sure we get that tower. This is how you play macro. I know I kind of left my top side high and dry, but worth because we're getting stuff for it, right? Bring vision as well. Applies more pressure. I look to do the rift right now. 
Lucent in his top side, just absolutely terrified for his life that I might come. I'm just gonna rift top because mid's already free right now. We're just gonna approach the jungle. Or invis. See if anyone's still staying to maybe try and defend this. Oh, alright, just free. So they're playing really safe. They're like really damage control mode right now. Yeah, Kaisers feel, can feel free to take my camps because I'm just prioritizing like winning the map. I already have a lot of gold. I already have a lot of farm. So just AFK farming even more doesn't really help me. If I'm already really fed, I don't need to do it anymore. All right. Okay. Ah, shit. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really want to hold me there. Ow. Motherfucker kicked me in the head. <laughs> Oopsies, I entered. <laughs> Ego. Ego gaming. Okay, well, this is looking like a GG. Now, I would never recommend taking an early inhibit and low elo ever, but we're playing in challenger. The reason why is because with this inhib gone, you're constantly losing minions, you're constantly losing XP, and you're giving the enemy team gold and experience. So just never, ever, ever do that in low elo. Anytime before like 20 minutes, never take an early inhib. Trust me, you're not gonna be able to end the game. Even in challenger, people fail to end games properly. So that is a major way to throw the game. But the reason why my team takes the dragon is because we're so ahead and we have the dragon control and the Baron spawning soon. So the pressure can be used to get something more important. I got three subs to gift who wants one and why. Good shot. There's three subs ready to be gifted. I talked to block post. But yeah, ideally, um, yeah, we just get the dragons. We could pressure, probably get another inhib and or Baron. And with the Baron and the dragon, it's worth giving up that XP because we get to further our lead, further our advantage. So that's why we take the inhibit this time slot. Cause you gotta make sure that you're getting other things and you're ending the game soon if you're giving up, if you're taking inhibs. Like see, notice I'm not letting them farm. I'm not letting him do anything. I'm making sure that he stays punished. It's huge. So I actually, I can actually wait here for a little bit. Someone walks in by themselves, Just hang out. I don't think they're even gonna try and contest or anything, really. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. That Q hit me through like four people. Dude, I'm so bad. What the hell? That Q hit me through like four people. I could have smited the Krugs and lived there. I was really grief. By the way, if this was Care Smite, we would what? ironically win this game. Oh, Dr. Fox, though. Thanks to give sub. That was so weird. Whatever. Yeah, the reason why I exited my ult immediately on the Viego there was because I, I pretty much got all my abilities off on Sona, and when you pick up someone, you have all their stats. So do I really want to be a Sona fighting an 0-5? Do I want to be an 0-7... Sona fighting an 0-5 Yoni? No, because he's gonna one-shot me. So I was very quick to get off that person, so. I'd probably go for like death stance now. It's very snowball-y. They have a lot of physical damage. If they had a lot of uh, magic damage, they'd probably go wit's end. Um, J is always a good option too, if you ever had. Xbox Plus, I still give some. Okay. Hey, Rossi. Now, let's go on. Boink. Okay. I right, just prioritize getting the Baron. Send Camille bot and everyone else go to Baron. Even though my team tried to end the game earlier. You know, a little feisty gameplay happens. 
By the way, this was scarce my would unironically win this Oh, game. we're just NA Fiesta ending the game. This is sometimes what you gotta do in, in this elo. Gotta NA Fiesta it. Cause why not? The enemy team's playing like a Fiesta, so we play like a Fiesta, man. Alright, GG. Hope you boys learned a thing or two about Viego uh, for all my Kane mains out there. Surprised you enjoyed the video that wasn't Kane. But either way, this is a great champ to play. Very strong, very good. Be sure to pick him up in the jungle ASAP. Bye bye, YouTube.